Hello YouTube, my name is Phantom, and welcome to Madden Madness. This is the tournament that gives every team new life. If you haven't watched, here's, a bra here's the bracket thus far. So today we have the Redskins taking on the New York Giants, the winner of which will take on the Cowboys in the second round. So the winner moves on and the loser goes home. And right now, we're at the Patriots Stadium, Gillette. So who do you think is going to win? Let us know below, like the video, and subscribe for more. So without further ado, here we go. It's Breland to take the kick. Giants are kicking to start off. So they'll get the ball to start the second half. And Washington will get the first chance. And the kick sails out of bounds for a touchback. Here comes number eight, Kirk Cousins, who technically is still a Redskin, although as soon as the deadline, the trading opens up, he'll be a Redskin. No, he'll be a free agent. Alex Smith will be taking his place, coming over from Kansas City. So Kirk's basic, Kirk is the big free agent of this season. There's got to be at least 10 teams that want him as P. Ryan takes the first run and he's got space immediately. 21 yards on the first play of the game. Just a simple halfback base, but it goes. And just like that, McAdoo's trying to get his defense together. And this Giants defense that was pretty formidable and not last season but the season before that has struggled under McAdoo and it continues to struggle here at least within the first minute or so. So play number two for the Redskins. He ran up the gut and nowhere near as effective. Just a gain of two. Here's the Redskins offense. Samon J. P. Ryan, Capri Bibbs, Josh Doxson. Out come the Redskins on a second and eight. Four receivers for Kirk. Fakes the handoff to Cousins. And he's got time in the pocket. Dumps it off to P. Ryan. Who takes it up about two more yards to the 50. And here's the Giants defense. Jason Pierre-Paul leading up front. Eli Apple, Landon Collins, watching the backside. And here comes the first third down attempt of the game, third and six. Jameson Crowder is going to be out in the slot. Cousins hits Davis. Vernon Davis, gain of nine, out to the 41. And they're in Giants territory after just a couple plays. And Davis is getting up there in age, but he's still got it. He's been the number one tight end as Reed has been hurt. The huddle breaks, and out comes Kirk Cousins. 
under center. Kirk to P. Ryan. P. Ryan has a decent gain. He's had three rushes for three already. It's going to bring up a second and three off the seven yard gainer. Kirk coming out in the shotgun here. Four receivers. Kirk rifles it into Crowder. Crowder's got the first down. First and ten coming up. And the Redskins are just marching down the field on this opening drive. And the Redskins need to hurry to get this snap off. Under five on the play clock. Kirk hands it to Bibbs, who gets walloped. Slowed down by one defender and smacked by the second. It's a loss of one, and it's going to be second and 11. And Bibbs used to play for the Broncos. He was a third string running back. And they cut him in the offseason. So it's his first year as a Redskin. Out comes Kirk. He's going to hand it off to P. Ryan immediately. Who drags defenders for a couple yards out to the 21. Third and four coming up. Here we go, third and four. Three receivers for Cousins. And they're going to send pressure. Grant catches it, and he's got a good 14-yard gain. And it's first and goal. So as we get to the end of the first quarter, Washington has just ran the clock down, taken that time of possession, and gone down the field. Let's see if the Giants can get a stop on this set of downs. Three receivers for Cousins. Cousins hands to Bibbs right. He trucks a defender, and he gets trucked himself. So a brutal series of events for Bibbs. And it looks like it's only worth one yard. Second and goal coming up from the six. And you can run it if you'd like, or you can pass it, or you can just not do anything at all as the clock's about to hit double zeros. And they're just going to let, let it go to the second quarter and take the extra time to think about this next play. So, just like that, first quarter's over, tied ball game, 0-0. Zero, zero. Redskins on the doorstep. All right, welcome back to the second quarter. Second and goal coming up from the six. And if you're the defense, you got to expect the run or the pass. They're going to load the box. Cousins hands to P. Ryan, and P. Ryan 
Gets his feet across the goal line, but the ball does not cross. So it's going to be third and one to the goal line. And this is the play of the drive right here. Third and goal at the one. What are you going to do? I'll tell you what you're not going to do. You're not going to throw it after getting a five-yard gain on a run. And they're going to hand it to P. Ryan, who trucks the defender. Can't get past the second one. Doesn't get in the end zone. And it's going to be fourth down. It looked like for a second he was going to get in there after he broke through that first tackle. But no cigar. Number 60, if you could have blocked a little bit better, Washington would have, would have seven points. So after all that, about nine minutes of game time, out comes the field goal. And it's good. Chip shot field goal is good. So Washington has the first lead of the game. And McAdoo's playing from behind. The Giants only went 3-13 and under McAdoo this year. And luckily for Giants fans, he will not be coming back. Instead, they got, who did they get? They got a new hire. I'll let you know here in a sec. I believe they got, I won't even guess. So, ball's gonna come out at the 25. And out comes Eli Manning. A journeyman. He's been to two Super Bowls, one, two, and both as wild card. Um, participants, for lack of a better word, I guess. But it's been a while, it's been about seven years. Four receivers for Manning. Balanced formation. He's in the shotgun. Manning ha hands it off to Darkwaugh, who drags defenders for five yards. <laughs> and it's going to be second and five. And it is going to be Pat Shermer next year, the offensive coordinator of the Vikings. And he did a pretty good job for the Vikings, so... Giants should have some stuff to look forward to next year. Darkwa, hot back base, and looks like it's not going to go very far, only a gain of two. So, Redskins were near midfield. Redskins were near midfield when they had their first first or their first third down attempt. And the Giants will make their first third down attempt from their own 32. Coming out in a running formation. They're going to hand it to Darkwa again. And he just drags defenders again. Enough for the first down. And they're out to the 38. So that makes them 100% on third down so far. And just kind of poor tackling or tackling up high and he's just able to keep his feet churning and pick up the first down he's contacted two yards behind the line ends up three yards beyond it so that's a really good play by him and a really poor play by the Redskins defense they could have got off the field but they're still out there they're gonna be rushing five on this play Manning's first pass nearly picked He, that was an ill-advised pass. Pass. Kind of forced it. Right in the hands of number 26. If he's a wide receiver, he catches that. And that's a pick.
So, three receivers for Manning. Pretty balanced set. Hands it to Darkwa after the near pick. And he only gets about two, so it's going to be third down once again. Third and eight. And they're 100% thus far. Trying to keep it that way. Manning will likely have to throw. Three receivers out. Balanced formation. Manning. It's a screen to Vereen. Shane Vereen. He's... Does he have enough? He does. They're going to give it to him. That's a first down. So they're going to keep it at 100% conversion rate on third down. I thought he didn't get there for a moment. He stopped right on the, on the first down line. And about a one second difference between the play clock and the game clock before the 10 minute warning. They're going to get the runoff to Gallman and he's not going to do anything. So second and nine and as we hit the two minute warning. Just like that. It's two minutes left, three zip, Redskins lead. Alright, Giants are down 3-zip with 2 minutes left in the second, but they have a chance to tie or take the lead. Manning's alone in the backfield, 5 wide, and Redskins are sending pressure. Manning throws, hits Sterling Shepard. They're going to rush back to the line. It's a gain of six, and here comes their third, third down attempt of the game. They're 100% thus far. Manning's going to throw. Manning hits Shepard once again on the left side of the field. It's a first down. So they're going to be three for three on third down. Manning's just taking what he can get. Nothing downfield, so you dump it off. Luckily, your dump off's already beyond the marker. Clock is still running. Five wide for the Giants. Manning in the shotgun. And he throws it a little bit too left, too far left. Ball's incomplete. Clock stops. Second and ten. Coming up. He was he was wide open, honestly. Manning just missed him. And false start. If you're not the center, it's pretty easy to avoid false starts because you can just watch the ball, and once the ball snapped, you know it's time to go. But if it's the center, you got no way to really know which what's what's the count. Is it one? Is it two? You don't know. You're just guessing at that point. Man, he guessed wrong on this play. Manning in a bounced formation. Manning. Rose, he hits Ellison, who tries to cut it upfield, and he only gets a couple yards after the catch, but he gets six total. Third and nine coming up, and Giants are going to take a timeout. Three zip. Giants are down, but they're driving. All right, we're back as we look at Jay Gruden trying to get his offense on the field. But in order to do that, they have to stop the Giants here on this third and nine. This will be the Giants' fourth attempt of the game and the fourth attempt of the drive. 
They're three for three so far, trying to make it four for four. So we'll see what they do here on this third and long. Manning's going to come out alone, five wide. And the, the Redskins appear to be sending everybody. And they are. They, Tavares King, he's hit and taken down at the nine-yard line. Big play, but there is a flag down on the field. And I think this one's coming back. And it's Flowers. Still third, down. third and 19. Coming up. And that knocks him out of field goal range as well. So Flowers really letting his team down there. And I don't know anything about the line, really, specific players, but I know Eric Flowers. And I know him for the wrong reasons. As here comes another pre-snap penalty. And now after two fouls, they're going to be at midfield. So after they were in field goal range, now they're all the way back at midfield. And they'll be lucky if they can just get a field goal attempt. All right, we'll see what the Giants can do here. Redskins are sending pressure. And Vereen's taken down, hit in the backfield, and it doesn't even matter because the Giants didn't get nowhere near close to the field goal range. And so they're going to have to punt instead of kick, kicking the field goal. Penalties killed them on that drive. A drive in which they were 75% on third down. So here comes the pooch punt. And Giants are going to try and run the clock down. Try and just get out of here being three, down 3-0. Three Seven seconds left in the first half. So Washington will probably just come out and kneel this bad boy. And Giants will get the ball to start the second half as well. They're going to come out in the eye. Cousins going to run it right with P. Ryan. And P. Ryan's taken down. And there is a flag. I think it's going to be a face mask call. It looked like a face mask, and it was. And now Washington's in range for a Hail Mary attempt if they want to. They also have timeouts, but I think they're going to be too far away to be able to get in the field goal range, call the timeout, and kick the field goal. So, Hail Mary attempt, or a run, or a kneel coming up. And they're going to come out in the Hail Mary set. Cousins, going to dump it downfield, incomplete. That's the end of the first half. And Giants are going to get the ball to start the second. Redskins are winning. Three zip as we hit halftime. And we're going to be skipping halftime. Going right back to the action. So Washington's up 3-0 as number three comes out to kick it for number 83. Kicks away. 
hits Rudolph on the goal line, and he has to run it. And he's going to get it out to about the 25, so good job by him giving him the same field position as if he was able to kneel it. Out comes Manning and company. Shut out in the first half, but they're only down three points. They haven't scored. They've had tons of penalty issues, but they've been very efficient on third down. They've been three of four. And here we go. Giants will start their first drive of the second half. Manning's going to hand it to Orleans Darkwa, who dodges two people, and he's gone. Orleans Darkwa, there's a flag down, but he's going to go 10, 5, touchdown, Giants. But we'll see if this comes back. And it looks like it will. That's that that's unacceptable. That is unacceptable. At least it's it's a spot foul for the Giants, but they took a touchdown off the board because of a holding call. And they also took the last holding call costed them points as well. So the Giants, after getting that touchdown, have to do it again. Manning throws, hits Evan Ingram, the tight end, his first catch of the game. And he's got a gain of 15. So good job, good call by the Giants to not get greedy and try and force something. Just take what they can get, and they'll get back down there eventually, that is what they're thinking. And also... Engram was one of the best tight ends in the league last year, at least for fantasy points. And Manning's going to line up under center, likely to run it. And he will with Gallman Jr., who goes down about the 49, so it's a gain of three. Now come the Giants, four wide. Balanced formation for Manning. Manning. He's going to throw, and he misses his target. Misses his target about 15 yards downfield, and that's going to bring up a third and seven. Good route, good call. Just an errant throw. So here come the Giants, their fifth attempt of the game, and they're three for five. Manning throws under pressure, out of bounds. He just throws it away. And so they don't convert. Fourth down and seven, they're going to punt this ball. And here's the punter to kick it away. Wing sends it flying. And what a punt. What a punt. Ball sails out at the three-yard line. And wow. Redskins are going to have to come out and get to work just to avoid the safety. Wow. So Giants can almost tie this game if they get the safety here. Running formation for the Redskins. P. Ryan gets the handoff and he gets near the first down, so 
I guess that talk of safety is all but over now. And if that last guy didn't get him, P. Ryan could have gone much farther. He could have gone the distance, honestly. Second and one coming up from the 12. The Redskins come out in the running form. Out comes P. Ryan, who spins down at the 18. That's enough for the first. And a decent gain. Gain of six. Out comes the Redskins. Cousins is going to be under center. Cousins to P. Ryan. P. Ryan gets about five on the run, the halfback stretch. And the Redskins are killing the Giants in time of possession right now. But they only got three points to show for it. If Washington can get down the field and score a touchdown, maybe at the end of the third quarter or beginning of the fourth, they can really have a really good chance of winning this game. But they have to deal with what's going on now, and what's going on now is a penalty. So we're going to bring up a second and ten. Second and ten for the Redskins. Kirk's going to be alone in the backfield. Two to the right, three to the left. Kirk's going to throw. And he's got time in the pocket. Hits Davis. Davis spins the defender. And he's swung down. Gain of 11 on the play. Not for the first, and Washington's drive's going to keep on going. Just dumps it off to his open man, and when you get a missed tackle or two in the NFL, that's enough for a first down. And Cousins coming out in the shotgun. Cousins hands it to P. Ryan. It's a halfback base. And P. Ryan runs over a defender and gains a couple extra yards. All for a gain of about six. That's going to set up a second and four. Redskins are going to break huddle. And three receivers wide. Cousins. It's a screen pass to Bibbs, who drops it. And it's a good thing he dropped it, too, because he was going to be tackled for a loss. A big loss. Third and four coming up. And Redskins are about 50% on the day, or... They're two-thirds, so they're 66% on the day. Nearly gets an offside. Cousins going to throw and nearly picked off. He had that in his hands, but that would have been a pick six, and this would be a totally different ball game. As it stands, it's going to be a fourth down. And Rogers Cromarty just read the quarterback's eyes. He saw where that ball was going. He was there. He just dropped it. And fun fact, there's yet to, to be a 
pick six or an interception in this game. There's been a couple of fumbles, but no interceptions. Way, his first punt of the game, I believe. Ball kicks, and it's just about, oh, just a hair too far. The ball rolls out of bounds, or rolls into the end zone, and it's going to be taken out to the 20 as the Giants come out and try and get this lead. It's been a defensive slugfest so far, surprisingly, even though both teams have a decent amount of yards. They just can't do anything in the red zone. Or even get close to it. Three receivers for Manning. He's going to hand it to Darkwa, who's going to run it up the gut. And it's a gain of about two, they'll call it. Second and eight. Coming up. And as we get to the end of the third quarter, this game really feels like the Jets-Dolphins game that happened earlier. Similar situation. Jets were down 3-zip and ended up scoring 10 on answer to win it. Darkwa. He had a lane. He had an opening. But it wasn't meant to be. Taken down after a gain of 6 or so. Third and 2 coming up. Out come the Redskins. And third down's been very... I mean, Giants. What am I saying? Giants. End of the third. Three zip. Only one score so far by the Redskins, just a field goal separating these two teams. Three receivers for Manning, he can throw or pass. I mean, throw or run. He's going to run, and Darkwa, they were on him instantly, and the Redskins get a rare third down stop. So after starting three for three on third down, Giants are now struggling on third down. They're 0 for 3 on the last third attempt, three attempts. Giants will punt it away. And Washington's going to take it at the 15, and he's going to get walloped. Crowder's going to get hit down at the 18. Here come the Redskins. They have a real shot to end this ball, or put themselves in a really good spot to end this ball game with a win if they can get down the field and get a touchdown while milking some clock. Redskins are going to run it. No, they're going to fake it. Cousins going to throw over the middle to Grant. And did he hold on? They say he did. They're going to march it out to the 40. That's a 21-yard reception. And he hit the man wide open. And it looks like, to me, the Giants were running a zone defense. And when you have a man like Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins can just find the zones, find the openings, and throw in the openings.
So Kirk's going to come out in a running formation. I set up. Sprinkle's going to come in motion. Cousins going to run with P. Ryan to the right. He's only going to get one yard. He's 12 for 73 on the day so far. So number eight's got to convert this second and eight. Running formation. P. Ryan runs right once again and gets another yard once again. So third and seven coming up. This will be the Redskins' fifth attempt of the game. And they're a measly 2 for 4, so I guess 2 for 4 is not too bad. If they don't convert this, then they'll be 2 for 5, which will not be very good. So the Redskins in a third and long. Cousins throws it too long. It's too long. And that's going to bring up fourth down. So Giants, once again will have a chance to take the lead if they can move the ball. And Way's going to kick it away. It's going to sail out of the end zone, not even close to where the Redskins wanted it. And it's going to come out to the 20. And you're down 3-zip. You haven't done anything all game. And it's time to actually do something. you got to put on something for your fans. Manning nearly gets them to jump. Takes the handoff, throws, and he's got Tavares King for the biggest catch of the game so far for the Giants. And that's going to move him up to 38 just like that. Goodly, or Goodly, well thrown ball, great catch, and they're going to move up. Out come the Giants. Four receivers. Manning throws, hits Darkwell. Darkwell's got a first down now and the Giants are driving. Haven't done much all game and pretty much for the second drive of the game they have multiple first downs. Three receivers for Manning. Manning throws and hits Shepard over the left. And Shepard's driving forward. He's got an extra three yards after contact. And that's going to move the Reds or the Giants into field goal range. So just like that, Giants have a chance to tie the game. But they're not trying to tie, they're trying to win. Both offenses have just been really anemic. All right, that brings us to a two minute warning. Washington's up, three zip. Giants with the ball, though, in the, near the red zone. And we're back. Redskins are up 3-zip, but Giants are driving. 
This is only the second time in the game that they've really gotten something together. But it couldn't have come at a better time as Manning breaks huddle. And has three receivers. Manning, he's going to be flushed from his pocket. He's, he's going to run. Manning going to scramble. Second and two, and that's not a sight you see very often. Manning outside the pocket running upfield. Manning going to throw under pressure. Takes a shot at the end zone, but no good. Third and two coming up. This will be their seventh attempt of the game. They're three for seven. Or three for six up to this point. They're in four down ter territory, though. Well, no, you take the points here. Manning hits Tavares King. So on a clutch play, Manning connects, finds King. King stepped up on this drive. And Manning's going to throw again. Hits his man on the right. Darkwa, touchdown! Orleans Darkwa. His first touchdown of Mad Madness. And the first touchdown of this game. And the Giants have the lead. Here comes the extra point. Oh, nearly blocked. But the kick's through. 7-3. Giants. Their first lead in this game. So, Manning was 5-6 for 69 on that touchdown. Most of that was thanks to Tavares King. So, Washington has to wake up and answer back. They can't really tie this game, but they can win it. And Washington has three timeouts, so this one's not over yet. Out comes Harris. Decides to run it. Guards the ball as he's hit at the 27 and brought down. It's a 30 yard return, not bad. Out comes Cousins, trying to move on in this one. And as a reminder, the loser of this game will go home. and their season will be over. Redskins will come out. Bunch set to the right of Cousins. Cousins gonna throw. Cousins has time. Cousins to Davis, who gets a nine yard pickup. They're gonna call it a long second and one. And they're gonna rush back to the line, Cousins in a different set under center. Cousins gonna throw. Hits Sart Samaj P. Ryan over the middle. That's enough for a first down and they're gonna hurry back. Cousins. Hits Josh Doxson. And now they're moving. They're at the 36 of the Giants. Dozens, gonna throw again, and he hits Davis. Vernon Davis, he's gonna score! Touchdown Redskins. So the Giants get down and score, and then Washington comes right back.
amazing. So no scoring at all in the in the first basically the entire game until the final two minutes, and here we have two touchdowns in less than a minute and a half. Now the Giants have to answer after this extra point, which is nearly blocked. That play, was, or that drive, was quick. Four plays, 73 yards. So the Giants, after thinking that they had a really good chance to win this one, now they're in the hole, and they'll be lucky if they can get overtime. Here comes the kick. And Raymond thinks about running it out, but he decides to take the knee instead. So here we go. Giants have to answer back now. Three timeouts, 23 seconds. Manning's going to need another helmet catch. Four receivers for Manning. Manning. And he overthrows his man. Clock stops with 18 seconds. They need to get out to the 38-yard line to give Rosas a chance to win. Or a chance to tie this game, I should say. So we're going to have second and ten. Although the down and distance doesn't really matter at this point. At this point, you need to just get down into field goal range. Three receivers. Manning. He's going to throw, and he had his man open. But it sails over his head incomplete. Now it's 15 seconds. Giants are 3 for 8 in this game on third down. And Tavares King's been big in this one. Let's see if he can step up once again. Manning. Throws. And King, he hits King, but King drops it. So 10 seconds left. And this could be the final play of the game. Both teams the full timeout, surprisingly. Here we go, fourth and ten. This is likely the game. Manning. Steps up, throws. Hits Engram. And Giants hurry and take a timeout. They're out at midfield. First timeout of the second half called. We'll see how this one wraps up after this. All right, Giants have the ball, down three, four seconds left on the clock. Can they answer again? If I'm the Giants, I have maybe most of the routes are deep, maybe one. 
goes deep enough for the field goal just in case something weird happens with penalties. But they're going to do a Hail Mary. Manning, we're at the game. And he throws a pick. It's picked by Halley. And Halley's going to run it back. Dodge one defender. He's brought down. The game's over. So Giants end up choking after scoring a touchdown in the last couple minutes. Redskins and Giants exchange touchdowns, but Redskins ultimately survive. Redskins are going to win 10 to 7. And here are some highlights of what turned into an actually an exciting game. <laughs> Before we go, we're going to show you the updated bracket. Right there. Right, so, in the second round, we'll have Redskins v Cowboys. And until the next game, this is Phantom saying adios. Don't forget to hit subscribe or like the video, and 